Hello guys, it's another guide on how to, uh, it's not, I don't, it's the first guide I've made of how to get a fossil Pokemon. This is the only guide, but, <laughs> oh, whatever. <laughs> you knew what I meant. You, you knew what I was going to say, and you knew what I, would, I meant if I was going to say it. Anyway, that is weird. <laughs> uh, today I'm going to make a guide on how to, uh, get the fossil Pokemon. So, first you have to go to Kenikoni City in Akala Island. So, you have to have gotten to the second island to do this. Well, there's two ways to get fossil Pokemon, but this way is the easiest way. You probably already know about this way, but I'm just going to show this to people that don't know about it. Basically, you talk to someone at the counter here. And you can select any fossils you want, but I've already bought all the fossils and one per customer, which sucks. <laughs> you can also get them through Pokepelago, but I think they're quite rare, so I'm not going to actually show a clip of me getting a fossil. But I think you, you can do it. I have an Ultra Sun and Moon guidebook, which says you can do it, and Cerebi says you can do it, so you can do it. <laughs> have a look for yourself. It does. If you Have a look for yourself if you, if you don't believe me, because it, you can do it. Anyway. I was here before, so I think you already know about this as well. Well, if you already knew about this, then you wouldn't be watching the video. <laughs> anyway, before you talk to this man, I recommend getting a synchronized Pokemon, like this Abra here. Yeah, I got this Adamant Natured Abra from the Ditto 5. And then I bred it with an Alakazam, and then I got this. So, yeah. If you want a modest... No, oh, that's my Necrozma. <laughs> that's also my quarter. <laughs> uh, I didn't bring my other one with. <laughs> that kind of sucks. Because I think there's a special attacking one here somewhere. Uh, anyway, so... You want to go here? No. Oof. I thought I'd yeah, I press the A button there. <laughs> First, you want to save if you are using Synchronize. So you just save the halt before him. Talk. I could have just said no if I actually pressed A, so yeah. I think the Claw Fossil restores Anorith, so I'm going to do that one first. So, um, if you want to look up the stats of these things, um, I'll have the link to Cyber Net in the description. So yeah, that one's Animus. I'm positive it has a better attack stat than special attack stat. Bees, definitely. <laughs> wow, I didn't know. I didn't know I had that good attack stat. Wow. <laughs> so there's the Animus. Yay. I'm gonna EV train them once they've evolved, and I'm gonna use his EV to re reduce him berries. Hmm. Do not want to give it a nickname. Um, leave nickname suggestions in the comments below. Let's see what you want me to nickname Pokemon. I'm pretty sure Cradily is a space. Uh, oh, what am I saying? I think Cradily is a special attacking Pokemon. But then again, I don't have Cradily's fossil because I think you only buy that in Ultra Moon. It's currently night time in my game because my game clock's messed up. Uh, school clock fossil, I'm pretty sure, revives uh, Creamy Dose. And I think the Helix fossil is Amistar. The Helix fossil, I think Amistar is a special attacker. So I'm not going to get him yet. Well, I'm going to have to go back to PC. PC and That says Crany Dose. Yeah. I'm going to have to go back to the PC and get, grab my modest one. Wait, I didn't check my nature. Uh, I need to go do that. I didn't check if Synchronize worked. Let's just see if it works. If not, then I'm just uh, going to reset and cut back to where I was. So, here's the crane Let's see here. That one had the synchronize. And this one also has the synchronize. Okay. So, I'm going to save again here. Just in case the next one doesn't have the synchronized, so I'm just going to save here. Uh, 
now let's uh, do it again. And this time I'm going to restore uh, Tyrant. I'm pretty sure they draw a false sort of Tyrant because I remember picking it and put one Y. Because Amora I don't think is that good. Because that's like seven weaknesses. So here's Tyrant. And I already had him registered to my decks because I have traded over um, a Tyrant from my uh, Pokemon Sun version. I don't ask me why I have a Tyrant on that game, but I just do. Oh, I think I have worked here again. Wow, that looks pretty good. Well, unless if it's 100% chance on gift Pokemon, I'm not exactly sure. I think it's 100% chance in gift Pokemon, actually. Uh, what are the other two? The, um, or, or how many left are there? Uh, cover fossil. And um, let me just check Caracosta's stats because I'm not exactly sure what its stats are. Yeah, it's more of a special. It's more of a physical attacking Pokemon, but you can also run it as a special attacker. And that's the gender ratio. Ratio because I'm going to need a female one if I'm going to also run a special one. Yeah, not happening. <laughs> I guess I could just breed for a female one, like oh whatever. It it doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, um, let's talk to him again, I guess. Now I wish I could do that method of shiny hunting where you could get 30 fossils at a time and then you see if the recovered Pokemon is shiny and if not, you just do it again. And then you just reset. So, you can't do that in this game because like you can only buy it one. Well, technically you could do that if you, you were lucky enough to get 29 uh, things. Unless if one of these happen to be shiny. <laughs> That'd be another full odd shiny in this game. If you don't know that I just got a shiny for Mantis yesterday, so yeah. That's pretty cool. Check a synchronizer worked here. Probably did. Yeah, it worked. So that's good. I always thought Tier 2 was actually pretty cute. So um, I like Arkin better, but I really do like Tutuga. I know I used a Caracosta before, though. I haven't used any fossil Pokemon before. Alright, let me just go back to my PC and grab an Abra. Bye. Uh, see you in a minute, or a second, or however you want to say it. Alright guys, I got my modest Abra. Now let's just save it for him, just in case the Synchronize doesn't work. But I'm pretty sure it will. Anyway. If if this last one happens to be shiny, I'm gonna be. Oh, um, this would be my first live shiny, because like when I uh, like when I uh, get shiny, I'm not actually gonna be recording for the entire time I'm hunting. I'm just gonna start recording when I get a shiny. So that's it. All right, so now I've got now I've got all of them. I was gonna say, if that's purple, I'm gonna be like, oh. <laughs> I could reset until it's shiny, but I don't want to do that, to be perfectly honest. This Masuda method breeding is just a lot easier to get fossil Pokemon. Anyway, uh, I should have named him. Yes, I was just saying I should have named him Helix, but whatever. Uh, let's check if Synchronize worked. Yep, it did. I'm not. If I. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a special attacker drug dream by those stats, so yeah. Sorry about that, I'm gonna have to cut part of the um, video out. It's so like if I like cut mid sentence and that's why I just <laughs> don't want this to me. <laughs> anyway, that's all of the video. This is also part of the series where I complete my Pokedex. Because you need the fossil Pokemon for the decks. And you also need to evolve these. They are always at level fifth. 15 and I think they all evolve at level 40 except Arkham. Uh, the the universe ones evolve at level 37. So yeah. That's all there is. Like, you just have to evolve them, but I think it's pretty hard to evolve them all. Sorry, I've just been really noisy. Like, if you heard any background noise, I'm really sorry. Uh, so they're level 15. Most of them you have to get to level 40. And that's pretty much it. Oh, I'll make a bonus scene, I guess, of me. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that because, like, oh, I'm being timed and background noise and all that stuff. <laughs> uh, but
bye guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you again soon. Goodbye.